Hi everyone. It is the 30th of November of 2024 and something that's been on my mind a bit today. It's the last day of the month. Now if you have a look at my profile here, I'm at Platinum Rank 1 and season, oh man, season end in two hours. What? Oh no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Well, I suppose we better get on with it. I was thinking we'll need to, um, I need to, oh, well, if the season, I might have a chance to do another one then. It might be an idea to do another one later, uh, afterwards then, because if the whole thing resets. But I'm thinking, I've got two hours. Um, if I can get, I was thinking I might do two drafts anyway, regardless of how well I do with the first one, uh, depending on what I get. Like, even if I do very well, what? Herald of Eternal Dawn is ranked at 4.5. Uh, Herald of, the, of Eternal Dawn is probably main with better stats and flash. At, at risk of stating the obvious, it's hard to lose if you have this on the battlefield. Top 5 white commons. Da -da -da. There have been farmers recently where Helpful Hunter and Prideful Parent might have been higher picks than Banishing Light. However, since Foundations is a simpler set, where unconditional removal is a little harder to come by, I'm going to default to calling Vanishing Light bet's white, bet white, best white common. White's best common. Overall, white looks great with strong creatures at all costs, all points on the curve, and easy, uh, clean, easy to follow themes of gaining life and going with creatures. Even the typo synergies involving cats and angels are straightforward and easy to capitalize. Uh, uh, well, there's another rare here as well Abyssal Harvester. I might just go for that one. Let's have a look. Uh, tap, exile target creature card from a graveyard that was put there this turn, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a nightmare. I mean, bloody seven mana for this though. I mean, looking at this pack, I've got a white there, I've got a white there, not got much. Um, I'm, I'm leaning towards the Abyssal Harvester. I've already got one. I've only got stab there. Oh, I'll take the angel. I'll take the angel. Okay, let's see what we've got. Um, right. Ruby is nice. Clink one sky mage is also nice. The alliance is okay. I could, um, maybe, maybe the the clink one sky mage. Is the way to go here? Let's get the Sky Mage. I'm thinking I could potentially go for cats or something. There's a land. I don't necessarily want to take that land straight up. Um. In which case I might take you or the Arcane Epiphany. Ah, Arcane Epiphany works well with the, the Sky Mage. Yeah. Let's take the Epiphany. Okay. Refute and Banishing Light. Good. Both good cards. I'm thinking Banishing Light here. Okay. Um, Erudite Wizard. You are also a wizard. You also benefit from Arcane Epiphany. As does the Sky Mage. I'm inclined to go for that one. Uh, sure thing. Sure thing. I think it's a Threshold. When it enters the veil, three threshold. This creature can't be blocked as long as there are seven or more creatures. Um, whenever you gain life for the first turn, time each turn to veil one. Mm, could I go for gaining life? I think I want the ink mage. I've got the ink mage. I'm certainly more blue than white. You know what? I've got to get this land. I'm not necessarily blue and white, but... Sure thing. Uh, how am I doing? I've got two non-creature spells. Elementalist Adept. Sure thing. That's not going to be helpful as of yet. Let's just grab the Adept. Uh, okay. So I think I'm very certainly blue. 
I'm certainly blue. Uh, probably don't want that one. Probably not going to play the fishing pole. Okay. Well. This is a nice white card. Let's have a look at it. Uh, whenever another creature you control enters, put a 1 counter on this creature. As long as creatures you have th uh, this creature's 3 or more 1 1 counters on it, it has flying and is a knight in addition to its other types. I mean, yeah, sure thing. The bouncer. Plus, I do need more stuff on the low end. And that is certainly a low end thing. Um, oh, oh, scroll and crawler. Yeah. You also work here. You also work here, Sarah Angel. Oh, uh, fleeting distractions, but Sarah Angel also. Um, I'll grab the Sarah Angel. Fleeting distraction has a, good, has a high chance of coming around. Fair bloom trick? Maybe. What's this? Sphinx's tutelage. Oh, that name sounds familiar. Was that in, like, Theros block? Whenever you draw a card, take a point and mills two cards. If two non-land cards are shared, they color this way. Repeat the process. Mm. Uh, sorry, one moment. Right, sorry, um, I shall be one moment, by which I mean like maybe five, ten minutes. Thankfully, I'm not in a tense moment at the moment, so I shall uh, be back in about maybe five, ten minutes.
10 minutes, 58 seconds, 59 seconds, 11 minutes, 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds. Okay. Is it worth doing this? I'm a little bit out of breath at the moment because I've just been rushing around. Whenever you draw a card, target opponent mills two cards. If two, if two non-land cards share a card, you know what? It's uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Fair Bloom Trigger is just better here. Let's just take that one. Again, very heavy on the three drops. Oh my goodness! Stop giving me all these three drops, please. I'll take the pick. Um, when have you gained life for the first time? Turn each turn, Seville one. <clears throat> Run away together. I mean, that's only going to be good if I've got cheap creatures, which I maybe, which I might do. Uh, okay. Essence scatter, witness protection. I'll grab an essence scatter. I think. <clears throat> Very nice thing. Twice. Uh, fleeting distraction. Yep. Very much on the card draw. Okay, this is starting to look a bit, bit better. Very much on the card draw side of things. I think I might just take this angel out. Um, I could, I might leave the, some white in for the that thing and the bantering line, but I think I'll probably take that angel out. Um, take you. Uh, none of these, so you go there. There's this thing again. <clears throat> How am I doing, ratio-wise? I'll take the tutelage. I'm not sure about it, though. Oh, my goodness. I don't want loads of those things. So, I mean, I don't know if... Like, I, I feel like I've always overestimated... Oh! Oh, Kaito! Yes! Thank you. Another three-colour card. Oh, man. Once again... I'm not able to do the uh, the cat deck, which would have been very nice. Okay. Oh, jeez. You're a nasty looking thing. Elfarge Druid, you're also very nice. There's another Banishing Light. Could maybe grab a Banishing, another Banishing Light. Oh, we'll grab a Fleeting Distraction. Arcane Epiphany. I think so. How many Wizards do I have? Uh, six. I mean, okay then. I think that's quite a no-brainer in that case. Uh, mocking Sprite. When we together, think twice. Let's grab a thing twice. Mm -hmm. Big Fin Bouncer. You are quite nice. Got another Arcane Epiphany. Yeah, I've got a lot of them. I do have a lot of them. There's another Essence Scatter. Uh Grab another rest and scatter, I think. Imprisoned by the moon. Put you in the sideboard. I mean, I could do that over Banishing Light, but I do want to splash some white. Right. None of these. None of these. None of these. <clears throat> None of these. And I will want an island, but that last pick is irrelevant. All right, well, I think... Um... Oh, jeez, I don't know. Okay, let me take eight cards out of this. I think I think the gold, gold bed pick is probably a good thing to get rid of here. Um, as is the fishing pole, as is the Herald of Eternal Dawn, because that's just too extreme. Sarah Angel... Hold on. Sarah Angel is nice, but it is two. Two whites. And I don't know. This this deck is so heavily blue. I've tell you what, right, I've gone mono blue so many times. I've gone mono blue twice already. And it's not done well for me. It's not going well for me. Whereas this time it's like almost entirely blue. I could I might just take out the Sarah Angel. Flying and Vigilance. I mean, it is nice. It is a very nice card, but... Oh, okay. I'll take out the Sarah Angel. Uh, suggest lands. Um, right. Let's get this thing sorted. Big Bin Bouncer. Is that it? 
Okay. So I am splashing a type creature. I need to get rid of four cards. Let's have a look what we've got. I mean, we've drawn many instants. So I've got Arcan Epiphany. Uh, instant, instant. Uh, so hold on. One, two, three, four. I mean, I could just do this. 11 instants. All right. That's nice. It means there's a lot of opportunity to just not do much. I mean, I could do this. So what do you, what, what do you do? Whenever another creature control enter, put a one more counter on this creature. That works well with a runaway together. Um, I've only got one. Essence scatter. Fleeting distraction. Think twice. It's very nice. I do like it. I'm thinking I might take out a cephalid. These two. I could take out one of each of them. When it enters the veil three. Not really. No, I'll take you out. I might. I mean, you are a wizard, which is nice, but I'll take you both of you out. One of each of you out. There's that thing. Could take out one of my arcane epiphanies. Um, the only thing is, is that I don't have anything to sink my mana into if I get too much mana, which is very much a a potential. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a lot of cards. Oh, well, this thing is tutelage. Yeah, I think I will keep that in. Um, what else? Is there anything I can sink my mana into? Or is it, I mean, it might be fine. I mean, I could flashback you. Could I take out one of the Arcane Epiphanies? I mean, how many wizards do I have right now? I've got four wizards. I mean, I did just take out a couple. Didn't I? You're a wizard as well. All right. Do I take out the Asquin Elemental? Um, I mean, whenever you whenever you draw your second card, so I can't definitely work with that. Um, could maybe take out the wall. Let's take out the wall. It is nice, but let's take it out. Flash prowess. You're going to put a temple of one catch on this creature. That's like that's very very likely to happen. Could take out a an arcane epiphany. No, I think maybe I take out one cephalid ink mage. Okay. I'll take out one and scatter. It is nice. I mean, it's, it's going to be a lot of opportunities to play things on their turn. Because, I mean, how many instances do I have? 11. That is... That is a lot. So, it's going to have... I mean, if I've got an essence scatter and I've still got, like, other things, like, a thing twice, then I've got plenty of options there. And maybe a fair bloom trick. I mean, I could try cutting these two and going one or blue, but I don't think I want to do that. Take out one essence scatter. I do have a refute. Um, got too many. Twenty minutes and thirty-four, thirty-five seconds, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. <clears throat> I am drawing a lot of cards, but I might not have place to use them all. At least that means the Sphinx's tutelage will come through more often. OK. 
okay, okay. Uh, let's put up the manor a little bit. Um, I could actually maybe stick an essence scatter back in because I'm going to be drawing so many cards, I'm going to be getting so many lands. So I'm going four and eleven. Yeah, okay. And then I've got the Tranquil Cove. Let's give it a go. I mean, I, I'm not confident about it, but it's kind of just the way that it's going. Yeah, I mean, the dancer, I mean, there is a potential that I do lose um, quite a bit. And my rank goes down quite a lot. Okay. Oh, geez. Uh, this could be a difficult scenario here. Okay, Elementalist first, Firebrand Archer, sure thing, attack with the 1-1, one, one. yeah, bring you out, uh, could bring out a 2-2, two, two, but I think, I mean it is nice I control a wizard, um, don't want to attack? I shall not. I shall wait for them to do something. But they'll probably... They might want to sacrifice that one. Uh, okay. This does unfortunately... Um, I mean, they could... Have something here. A bread. Okay. I draw a card. Oh. Oh, no, wrong order. Man, if they've got anything at all, if they've got... If they've got any burn spell at all, which they probably do, that thing's dead. Brazen Scourge. Oh, they're not doing it. They're just attacking with everything. I mean, it's sure a thing. Um. I shall hang back. They might. I mean, I could. They attack with everything. Yeah. Um. Do you? We'll have Shiva Strike or something. Uh, what does that do? Can I not? Three damage. Three damage. Um. Draw three cards.
26 minutes, 50. Oh, no, never mind. All it took was a land. All it took was a land. Oh, man. Oh, I can't go down from Platinum 1. Okay, I'm in Platinum 1, so I just need to... Okay, okay. I mean, I'm not feeling too good. I mean, Mono Blue has not been... Blue has not been too good to me, this set. But I say things and I think, oh, that could, that could work out very well. You want to kill. That was a quite aggressive deck, though, and I think maybe that sort of explains it. Mm, not a great, not a great hand, but... Mm. Okay. Creature, please. Play a creature. Yep. How about you don't get that? Sure thing. I will probably fear bloom trick, I imagine. Uh, I don't want to refute it. Let's refute it. Oh man, Kaito. Let's get rid of the epiphany, I think. It's a good it's a good card, but uh... Okay. I won't kite all this turn, I'll fair bloom trick first. They bring out a creature maybe. Sure thing. Tap you down. Okay, I've got some stuff going on here. I've got some stuff going on here. Right. Plus one. <clears throat> um. Give it the island. So this is uh, whenever a creature controls a counter to a player, put a loyalty counter on Kaito. So I think I should attack for one because I would like to have a blocker. I would like to have a blocker. I don't want Kaito to take three. And I might. Big Finn Bouncer it. We shall see. Okay. Helpful Hunter. Sure thing. Okay. Block you. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, okay. This is looking okay. <clears throat> this is looking okay. I can get, put a couple counters on it, maybe, depending if I want to make another ninja. Which maybe I do. I can block their, I can block that thing with my guy. Uh huh. Block you with you. I can big thing bouncer it. Um, Stroke of Midnight. Uh, okay. By all accounts, that wasn't a great move by them. Uh -huh. Okay, you back to your hand. You got a counter. Now you're a flyer. Yeah. I guess they just didn't... I don't know. I don't know what they thought. You know, I'm not actually drawing many cards. <clears throat> I was wondering, oh, there's a Banishing Light target. There is a Banishing Light target. 
Um, Vanishing like you. Aerodite wizard you. Attack with everything. Well, I'm getting there. I am getting there. It is strange that I'm not a... Uh, I'm not playing... Um, I'm not, I haven't really had much card draw this game. Mm. There you go. Okay. Well, at least I'm trying to... In, in terms of my rank... That first loss wasn't so bad because it was um, right at the beginning. But yeah, that was that was a good game. But I didn't. I mean, I feel they made a mistake with Stroke of Midnight because like, they didn't. I don't know if they didn't realize, but like you're just powering up my little guy there, which worked out for me. It worked out very well for me. Versus the Zika, the Zika, not just any Zika. There's only one. Okay. Uh huh. Keep. Um. Okay, I'm not going to play Aegis Turtle. I'm going to um play this first and then the Aegis Turtle, and maybe I can run away together and get the turtle back out again. We shall see. We shall see. It's an idea. Okay. So, I'll bring you out. You get a counter. And I'll wait to see what they do. Maybe Essence Scatter is in order. I've got two of them here. Yeah, I've got two Essence Scatters. Come on, four mana creature, please. Uh, okay, you're not really... Uh, 34 pounds, <laughs> 34 minutes and 28 seconds, 29 seconds, 30 seconds, 31 seconds. All right, and they've used up all their their mana as well. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'm gonna do: bring you out, put a counter on you. Attack for good old a good old three. Ambush wolf. Uh, how about no? You don't get that. Oh, very nice. Of course, they can play something out now. I can't listen, scatter it. I, mean, I can banishing light it. Um. Okay, it's banishing light you. I'm attacking for three. Can't refute. I mean, I can defeat distraction that little one. I guess. I mean, if they, they if they play like the spider and then a bite down, for example. I mean, probably not going to happen. But let's say they do. Banishing light. Um. Okay. Attack with just you. Sure thing. Drawing a card would be nice. Oof. Don't really want that. Aerodact Wizard. Okay. Bring you out. Make you able to fly. An attack in the air. Very, very nice. Essence Scatter probably might be a thing this turn. Unless they make our move. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. No, 
not feel not really feeling it right now. If I can get run away together. Yeah, they're turning the tide here. Are you gonna do something? Uh let's scatter you. I can epiphany. Oh, do I wanna do that now? Or do I want to wait? Mm. I'll wait. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of annoying. I would like to refute you. Oh jeez, two arcane epiphanies. I mean, eventually... Um... Okay. I'll bring out the brown, brown bone cutthroat and then arcane epiphany. I mean, they are attacking me in the air for three, and I'm not happy about that. They are healing up. Yeah. They're turning the tide on this, and I'm not happy about that. Uh, okay, end of your turn. Flash you in. Okay. And then get some counters and draw, draw three cards. Man, if I can draw, I mean, what can I? Oh. Mm hmm. Maybe the bouncer. Maybe they take the bouncer back into there to get that thing out the way. Yeah, you go back to your hand. You're a nasty 3-3 three, three flying lifelink. Let's get rid of those counters. So I'm, in that, I'm, I'm in that position where I do unfortunately have two lands in my hand. I could really do with... If I can draw another... Oh, epiphany, whatever it's called. Okay, the hawk comes back out. Yeah, big giant thing. Oh, come on. Come on now. I'm begging you, game, to give me some cards, even if it's just another. I mean, I don't know how much I can. If I don't know how much I, I don't know how many left I ha I have in my deck. I just need to get rid of that big. Yeah, oh yeah, and the put counters on it as well. Uh Right, think twice. Just do it. Um Just do another one, another thing twice. Can I get run away together or something? Oh, I don't think it's going to help at this point, but... My guys are going to start... Uh... Yeah, I mean, they're just... They're going to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I can't really get through this. I can't draw things fast enough. If they attack with everything, how screwed am I? They're attacking with those two things. Right. So I'm going to draw two cards. 
my wizard will get a, a counter. If I can survive that long. Yeah, okay. There's one of those. I think they can put counters on. Yeah, and they can just do that. Okay, is there anything I can do here that's going to, that can get rid of that thing? Um. Mm. That's a lot of car that's a lot of stuff that's not helping me. I can block their fly with my one one, but it's just a one one. That thing's gonna get just get bigger. So I'm back to a. Uh... Just throwing things in the way. And look at them. Look at all their, like, the life that they're gaining. And they're going to get a... They're going to get some more counters. Okay. Now, is there anything I can get here? Anything at all? Plane, you're not going to help. Another land is not going to help. Okay, draw another card, and an island is not going to help. That's not helping, that's not helping at all. That's, I just, I just can't. I just can't with all this, all these lands. That was like, that was nearly every land in my deck. Just so flooded. No, no, did not have fun that game. Back to zero on the platinum scale. I tell you, this heavy blue focus decks just are not helping me. Man. At least I can say it was because I was flooded. <laughs> At least to some extent. I mean, if I got... I don't know what else I had in my deck. I could have checked, but... I mean, it wasn't to be. Versus double... Double Roger. Forty four minutes, forty nine seconds, fifty seconds, fifty one seconds, fifty two seconds, fifty three seconds. I'm not feeling it. I am not feeling it. Mulligan. Sure thing. Right. Um. You have a good card, but let's get rid of the essence scatter. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. There's the Brian Bourne cutthroat coming out. Uh-huh. They've got no creatures. Can I help it stay that way? Maybe. Maybe. That is a good card. Oh, is that is that all they can do? Is that all they can do? Um Oh, 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 essence scatter, that is Ideal. That is ideal. Absolutely ideal. If I can stop them from getting creatures. If I can stop a creature coming out of their hand. There's a, okay, there's a forest. Come on, five mana creature, please. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Get rid. 
get rid of you, you're gone. They do not get a counter. That silver scavenging has just not been doing anything. Right. Um. I can do this. Uh. No, I think twice. You get a counter. Attack with both of these. Oh, I'm applying pressure. I am applying pressure. I mean, even if they bring out a creature now, it's got to withstand some some stuff. They know I've got two mana open, so they might be wary <laughs> of another essence scatter. To the forest. Yeah, that's a great card that they've just not been able to use. Can you bring out a creature? If you can bring out a creature, you can maybe buy yourself a turn or so. But we'll have to see. I mean, they might have a few creatures. I mean, that is a big creature. Sure thing. And they can start making raccoons. That's a big... Yeah, that's a... Um, do I want to do this? To increase... No, I will not. I can epiphany. I like this one. I think I might want to play the turtle. Um I'll play the turtle. Buy me a bit of time. And let's keep going. Next turn, I'll be able to keep my flyer, I guess. I mean, they still... I mean, they do have a big thing, but... Meteor Golem. Hmm. Okay. If they attack with their little guy, which I think they probably won't... Okay, let's just do this just for the sake of getting a counter and drawing a card. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Bring you out. You. Your job is to keep some air distance. Some air distance, some air. I've got a refute to help me to help it survive the turn. Man, they they sat up so bad on this. Uh, I can block. Okay. Taking a risk, taking a risk, taking a risk. Because this leaves open some... Uh, if I use up my mana for a fleeting distraction, that means they're not going to be able... I'm not going to be able to counter anything with the, with the refute. If they've got a bite down, they can kill my flyer. Which I do not want. Giant growth. Okay. I do get to draw a card. Oh, oh, that is nice. That is a very nice card. I do like to see it, but I think it's probably... Mm, Is it enough? I don't think so. And they can kill that with something now, probably. Broken wings, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is...
man, this, this, I was doing so well at the start, and they just, yeah, whatever, whatever, they win, okay, I was doing so well at the start as well, <sighs> back to, oh, I'm down, oh, okay, I guess I can go down the tiers, that's not good, either, oh, 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 that was a 1-3. What was going through my head to make me think I was at 2-2? Two, two? Okay, I thought I was at 2-2 two, two for some reason. I thought, okay, I've still got some chance to get up before I would oh, oh, well, okay, whatever. That wasn't very good. Heavy blue focus decks. I always see them. I always see the cards and I always think like, oh yeah, this is going to work together. And it just doesn't work out. It just doesn't work out. But it happens every single time. So I'm getting a bit of an aversion to blue. Especially very heavily blue focus decks. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.